I found one of Randrock's drills in a mine along the shore. I intend to destroy it. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. You are welcome to join me, but if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something to give you. Lord Gox getting himself into more danger than he realizes. I'd better find him. Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh dear, that sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Harvard of the place, though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment, and the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then.
Astoria cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. No one's going to pay a ransom for that portrait. Oh, no one's going to pay a ransom. This looks intriguing. No more happy days for you. I have come upon a difficult time, and I need a friend. Revelio. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I saw the cave that Doran... Revelio.
Revelio. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, bring me a few more moons and I'll show you how to improve casting Alahamora. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. <laughs> 